In national news, sewing, ironing, and stitching at an industrial level is work most people would find difficult under any circumstances, but try doing it with your eyes closed. It's a challenge most of the workforce at an upstate New York manufacturing facility undertakes every single day. The majority of the employees there are blind and carry out the detailed work with precision and pride. Trishna Bigum has more on how a vision for success became a reality for the visually impaired. Like a well-oiled machine, skilled workers are the backbone of this Albany manufacturing facility. We cannot have errors or mistakes. At the front of this assembly line sits a skilled seamstress. Diane Hubbard can't see herself doing anything else. But I like to sew. That's the thing. I enjoy it. As her nimble fingers work quickly around the needle, Diane is able to produce 100 safety vests a day. Are you ever scared your fingers are just going to get too close to the needle? Mm -hmm. No. But this is no ordinary factory. Take a closer look. The fabric of this workforce is mostly the blind. Well, when you learn, you just get used to it. With no sight, Diane is able to feel her way through each perfect stitch. We don't think it's amazing. It's, it's a job we get paid for. The only thing helping her is a small piece of adaptive equipment. A low profile fixture right next to the needle on the sewing machine that is just enough to allow an individual to line that zipper up. The rest is all Diane and her training. The man in charge at the Northeastern Association for the Blind is Chris Burke. We change people's lives every day. His mission is to create as many jobs as possible for people who can't see. It's a community that has a 70% unemployment rate. When I got here, they said, well, blind people can't iron. It was just a matter of ironing out the details. Just ask Lynette Stevens. I think mainly just getting over the fear of working with the iron, as hot as it is, just learning where my hands need to go. Now all of it is done by people with no vision. It shows the sighted world that the blind are perfectly capable of doing multiple jobs and making neck tabs for women's military uniforms. We do it for the Navy, the Army, and the Marines. They're all made right here in Albany in this floor. It's a point of pride for Lynette. A way to uh, honor our service people. We might do something differently than you, but the fact we get it done. And they do it well. When the light hits this, it, it lights up as if a light was shining back at you. The blind leading the sighted to better see. I mean, I'm doing something to help someone else. Actually, I'm helping many people. With full benefits and opportunities many once thought were reserved for people with sight. Well, and that's why this is kind of important because people find out they really can work. The sewing machine, more than just a needle and some thread, it's become a tool for mending a community who can see far beyond their challenges.